I used to be like you a long time ago. People look at you and think of how wonderful your future will be. They want you to be something special. The Hobo the Shotgun is about uh, a hobo that strolls into this really crazy town and it's really corrupted and all he wants to do is save his money to buy a lawnmower so he can start a new way of life and, and kind of work his way up in society. But this world of crime just kind of takes over his dream and so he ends up being confronted with uh, a moment in a pawn shop where he has to make a sacrifice to either buy a lawnmower or buy a shotgun and start cleaning up the streets. Instead of buying a lawnmower he picks up the shotgun from the wall and goes, F it. let me just, you know, clean up this town and then maybe somebody's left to make sense. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of the story and then, you know, all hell breaks loose and and it's all crazy and it never gets, you know, it never gets sane. It's a, it's a hell ride. And it's uh, funny as hell, too. I think it's hilarious. Let the girl go, punk. I'm making a citizen's arrest. <laughs> and who the f are you? Put the knife away, kid. Or I'll use it to cut welfare checks from your rotten skin. Rugger Hauer, for me, it was like, is a, a childhood hero. Like when I first saw The Blood of Heroes, uh, which is also called uh, Salute of the Jugger, um, and The Hitcher, I was just so blown away by his like on-screen presence. I've never seen anything like it. Just the look in his eyes on camera is just so, there's so much mystery behind them. And uh, when uh, our distributor asked me to write down my list of my top five favorite actors who I'd love to play the role, I thought, man, Rugger Howard would be absolutely perfect for this, but there's no way we'll ever get him. It'll, it'll never happen. But I thought I'll write him down just so people have an idea as to the kind of actor I'm going for. And sure enough, they got a hold of his agent. And the uh, next thing I knew, he requested that I get on Skype with him and, and have it. I'd never been on Skype before, and I had to have a, a conversation with him over that and I can remember that day like being so nervous. I read the script and I thought there were a few things missing and he agreed and said yeah that's why we would love to have you and I said yeah but that's not a reason for me to do the movie and then he said yeah no I understand that and then we talked and then I said okay I'm coming. Mm -hmm. I, and Jason and I felt like we were like uh, brothers or something. Is there another way out? What you can expect is you're, you're going to see things that you wouldn't normally see in a movie theater. And there's a lot of things that we got away with that I'm still shocked that we actually are, were allowed to shoot them and put them on the screen. <laughs> um, so I think it's an experience that you're not normally going to get. Am I going to say what you need to take away? No. That's like, what do you learn from this movie? You learn how to have a blast. Maybe. Like me, a hobo with a shotgun.